Mr. Usyk, it's fake. What did he say? Oh. Masterful boxer, a genius. Yeah. Of what he's done and what he can do. Yeah. But he's a fake and he's a liar and a cheat. Whoop, whoop. The perimeter. Oh, oh, there's a body oh. shot from Dubois. Here's shot another right angle, here. Timmy. Another angle, yep. That's right. That looks like it's right on the belt line. Bullshit! Bullshit! Bullshit, 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 bullshit! If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm bullshit. If I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGNG, and praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I know what time it is. The doctor's in the house, man. So check this out. So we got some news coming from Dana Dubois' camp and his trainer, Don Charles. You know what I'm saying? Mr. Don Charles to you. You better check that hole, Mr. Uh, Dubois. You feel me? But Mr. Don Charles was on a, uh, a radio podcast, man, a radio show, and he was, you know, going into some things and revisiting some old scars, you know what I'm saying? And I, I thought he opened up, which I thought was always dope. You know, that's always cool to see these uh fighters and trainers and and you know just overall celebrities open up and give their perspective because a lot of time we just see it from a fan's perspective very one-sided but it's good to see what impacts them what they hold on to what motivates them and stuff like that he gave us a little peek oh yeah yeah we looking in there Oh, yeah, he opened the door, you know, so he cracked it open a little bit, and then, you know, but then, nah, he, he let us kick it all down, because he just basically just told us what he feels, man. He said, hey, man, Usyk is a cheater. We do not let people who are on the juice discuss real athletes. That's all. He said, Alexander Usyk, yes, one, two, or three, pound for pound, top fighters of the sport, you know, say, so whether you have him one, two, or three between him, Bud, and in a way. Bro, he said that, yes, he's a great fighter. Yes, he's a, a very cerebral fighter, you know, but he's a cheater. He's a liar and he's an actor. Bo is calling for time and Usyk will get the full five minutes to recover from what has been ruled a long blow from Dubois. You should win an Oscar for that, for the acting. <laughs> He said my boy should have got a Grammy. Now, of course, we know that the low blow for from Daniel Dubois onto Alexander Usyk in, during their clash was very controversial, right? But to say that someone's cheating, I understand what he's saying. If you just, you know, scratch below the surface a little bit, then you can kind of, you know, share his sentiment. However, I think cheating is different i think it's a little bit of a reach because when you say somebody cheats i automatically go to like was there an external factor brought in like a ped we do not let people who are on the juice discuss real athletes that's all or or you know a bad substance usage or some type of um you know um some type of plaster of Paris like Antonio Margarito or was a fighter purposefully handicapped on the way in by doing something like that or was somebody paid off to me that's cheating so you know I love to make other references between sports and try to take it outside the realm of boxing right so let's go to basketball right there's a there's a, a plague if you will running rampant with flopping right contact with James and the foul call on James here look after the play so I think flopping do I think it's an infraction? Yes. Do I think it's a violation? Yes. Do I wish it would be eliminated? Yes. But I can't call it cheating because that's why you have a ref there. It's up to the ref's discretion to deal with the situation as they see fit to determine if the flop was legitimate or was it because of a foul? You know, was it the reaction to the action of it uh, of an initial foul? You know, so of course, I think that it should be punishable, right? So if you flop in the NBA, you get punished. You know, you, sometimes you get a technical foul. Now here's Exum. Uh oh, Gary That's Trent. A That's a flop. Yeah, they just called a technical foul. So likewise, in boxing, if you find out somebody is embellishing or exaggerating the the the, the call or, or whatever it is, then I think they should be punished. However, in boxing, it's very hard to determine that. So that's why these things like low blows and other actions are left to the discretion of the ref. And that's why a lot of people are debating on whether it was actually a low blow or not. So the ref messed up because... Well, if you believe it was a low blow, then the ref did the good, did the right thing. If you believe that it was not a low blow and it was legal, then you think the ref messed up. But at the end of the day, it's up to the ref. You know, and human error is part of sports, you know. So human error, I don't think that needs to be removed. You know, it kind of adds to the intrigue. Of course, you want to you want to prioritize getting it right. But these things happen. So some refs would have called it a legal blow. Some refs would have called it illegal. But when you say somebody cheats then I think that's, you know, that's kind of implying something else. Well, if somebody's cheating, then the fight should be called off. And Usyk will get the full five minutes. 
points to recover. Bullshit! 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 Now, if you want to say that he embellished and it wasn't really a low blow, like maybe Dubois would have actually stopped him. Yeah, maybe he would have. You know what I'm saying? We can go with that because I think I think it was a fair blow. But I can't help what the referee called. Now, like I said, so if you want to say that, oh, Usyk wouldn't have recovered and Dubois would have got the stoppage, okay, cool. But I could also say, just playing devil's advocate, which... I rebuked the devil, so I would never do that in the name of Jesus. You know what I'm talking about? But let's say, <laughs> just for the sake of argument, I could also make an argument that if the ref wouldn't have called it a low blow, maybe Usyk would have recovered in time. Maybe he just, like Don Charles is accusing him of, maybe he just acted a little bit just to exaggerate the pain and the and the, and the impact and the significance of the blow in order to have a full recovery time. You know what I'm saying? So I think that, uh, I don't think, even if it was a legal blow, there's no guarantee that Usyk would not have, re not have recovered. But the fact that it was a legal blow i think you can argue that maybe Usyk, if it was called legal he would have got stopped right there so it's just you know that's a whole point of controversy man there's a whole bunch of sides to it but what i take from this which is the most interesting is what don charles said right here should that materialize i dare him Usyk, to get in the ring with daniel dubois <laughs> I, I want to know if they think he'll be undisputed champion because I'm sure you do think Daniel's Categorically, why? Yes. He said that he dares. He double dog dares. He triple dog dares. Usyk to dare step back in the ring with Dubois. So I love this because that means that they, you know what I'm saying? They are internalizing it. They are storing it, storing it in their head for motivation. They are indeed looking for that rematch in order to enact revenge for their slight and get recompense so i love this man i think if Usyk beats fury which is likely to happen um i think this dubois Usyk fight already being a rematch and then pot potentially being undisputed it just added a little bit more intrigue to it you know what i'm saying so it just got more interesting but let's say fury wins i would like fury versus dubois as well you know because fury could beat Usyk, you know but i think that i think Usyk rightfully so being the um number one pound for pound a uh, uh, boxer in the heavyweight division sorry the number one fighter in the heavyweight division and arguably number one pound for pound in, in the boxing um i think he should be the favorite so y'all let me know what y'all think about this is don charles tripping is he reaching or do you agree with him man it's, it's just really cheating man especially and it's sad to see from a god-fearing man y'all let me know man i appreciate y'all rocking me as always remember with god we can do anything without god we're nothing the doctor's out peace from the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets